want to take you along on this journey with me. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Oh. <sighs> Hello y'all, it is me to tell you that there will be spoilers in this video. Do not watch it if you have not read Addicted to You, unless you are fine with spoilers, in which case, go ahead. And if you've read it, then enjoy. This video might be very long, I have a lot to say. I'm sorry. Hello my besties, how are we doing today? I hope well, I hope that you just said, I'm doing great Larissa. Yeah. Anyways, guess what we're doing today? I'll tell you, no even, not even, don't even need to guess. We're reading the Addicted series, y'all. It is about time. I know, y'all have been waiting for this, as have I. You just see my little rhyme. <laughs> it's my bookmark, by the way. It's the Ron Weasley. <laughs> I have everybody. I have Ron, Hermione, uh, Draco. That's besides the point. What was I gonna say? Right. I'm gonna start the Addicted series, y'all. It is currently Sunday and I have nothing to do. It's 3 p.m. and I figured why not start the Addicted series? This is as good a time as any. The only thing I have to do first is make pasta. That's very important. Let me explain something. So I don't even know at this point if I've posted all of the Briar U vlogs yet. I probably am posting this first just because I figured, listen up, since I'm gonna be doing so many reading vlogs for so many different series and for standalones, I figured that it'd be fun to like not go consecutively, if that makes sense. I figured I'd post one Briar U and then post a video from the Addicted series and then post a standalone in between just so that it's always fun and like versatile and you guys have different content, you know what I mean? But I have a vlog for the risk, I have a vlog for the play, and I have a vlog for the dare. Do not worry, those are coming. And I will be vlogging every single addicted book. So therefore 10 books. <laughs> oh my God, 10 different vlogs just on this series. That sounds like a lot of work, but you know what? I'm down, I'm down, because you're my besties and I want to take you along on this journey with me. I think it'll be a lot of fun. But let me talk about this series for a second. I know nothing, so therefore I will say nothing because I don't know anything. Only thing I know about this series is that uh, there are sisters in it, just because I know it's addicted slash calorie sisters. Um, I know there's Lily, Con Co Cobalt, Connor, Daisy, Lo. Yeah, those are the characters I know. I do not know anything else. I don't know what it's about. I, I don't know. The only things I've seen are like the TikTok aesthetic videos or whenever my friends post something about loving this series. I have, I have no clue, but I'm so excited. I'm not even gonna read the back. I'm just gonna trust the process. I'm just gonna open the first page and go from there. So let's do this. First book, it's called Addicted to You. So that's what I'm doing today, besties, and you're gonna come with me and we're gonna have an amazing time. Um, but first, I'm gonna go make pasta. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, pasta, yeah. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. California, here we come. I love the OC, I'm currently re-watching. Are we ready for my game plan? I'm gonna eat this pasta, watch this episode of the OC while I eat, and then I'm gonna change into a more comfortable attire because I feel like this isn't very comfortable to read in. And then I'm gonna start. Yes, sound like a plan, sound like a plan. Okay, BRB. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm ready. Comfort level? Achieve. Oh boy. We're doing this. Chapter one. I wake up. Well, that's good. I move to the couch. I am at an ultimate level of comfort right now, y'all. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. I am only on page three, but there was just an Avenger reference. Marvel, the loves of my life. The loves of my life are iced coffee, books, sad songs, and comfort TV shows and movies. And Marvel happens to be one of my top comfort movies. Ah, just the mention of that, you already got me. Wait, 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 hold on. I'm guessing this is a friends to lovers between Lo and Lily because I'm on chapter one. He just picked her up from the frat party, which was so hot by the way, the way he just walked in and was like, I left something here last night. <laughs> They're like, is it in the lost and found? He's like, no bitch, it's that whole last woman right there. The only fact I'll ever accept is Garrett Graham. The rest, bleh. So they're rich, they've known each other for a long time, they're friends, and her name is Lily Calloway. Got it. And then his name is Lauren Hale. Lauren Hale. Got it. Okay, so <laughs> pieces are being picked up by me. So far, so good. I like can't say much, obviously, because I just started, but the vibes are there, if that makes sense. Wait, so she's a sex addict. The way I did not expect that at all. <laughs> that makes so much sense. Addicted to you. Duh. Oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't. 
Okay, but wait, can we talk about this for a second? Right here, ready? He goes, come on love, into the car. And she says, I barely stumble on his frequent use of love. In middle school, I told him I thought it was the sexiest term of endearment. And even though British guys have claimed the stake to it, Lowe took it as his own. She told him that in middle school and he calls her love. Okay, kill me, that's adorable. Childhood friends to lovers, one of my all time favorite tropes. Like. I'm so excited. The vibes are immaculate here. I don't know how to explain it. The vibes are just here. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, this is amazing. And there's nine more. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Wait, so she has three, uh, she has three sisters. Three sisters? Four? Oh, she's the fourth one. Okay, so she has three sisters. So I'm guessing, obviously, the Calloway sisters, obviously, they're gonna make appearances. Um, and they're gonna be main characters in the other books. Yay! I wonder what sister I'm gonna like the most. I'm so excited. Put your guesses down below on what sister you think I'm gonna like the most, knowing me, knowing who I am as a soul. Let me know. <laughs> Y'all didn't tell me it was fake dating. I would have picked this up years ago. Oh, I just poked myself in the eye. It's fake dating. It is not only childhood friends to lovers, but it's fake dating. I'm gonna pass away now. Also, I guess he's an alcoholic because uh, like they're talking about his parting ways and how he's drinking whiskey and it's like the morning and shit like that. So she's a sex addict and he's an alcoholic addicted to you. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. How did I not realize that? <laughs> Kara was thinking that it was just gonna be like, like a chill story about some college students. <laughs> nope, they said, nope, we've got another thing coming. Oh my God. I'm pleased though. I really, really, really like this you guys usually it takes me a couple chapters to get into a book oh my gosh oh my gosh i already feel myself getting addicted huh addicted okay moving on i'm sorry i'm sorry that was bad i'm sorry okay besties i just had to get up to go get my tabs i'm gonna need to tab this book i already know in this moment i'm yours and as your boyfriend i really hate to share <laughs> i thought he kisses her Consider me swooned. What the fuck? He like gets mad at her because she was with some guy last night Even though he went to go pick her up at the frat house. What did he think he was doing there? What really shook me about this chapter is this. She says we're in a three-year-long fake relationship. We live together. What? Three years? They've been doing this for three years. Usually I see fake dating in like a You know a very short period of time. Fake dating for three years. They live together. I'm shook. Oh, I love this. It's only her point of view, right? Yeah. Maybe I would have known that they fucking live together if I read the back. I never read the back. I need to stop doing that. But it's so fun that way, the mystery. Besides the three year thing, another thing that took me by surprise was this at the very end of chapter one. Um, even though our parents believe we're one step away from an engagement, we'll never have sex again. It happened once and that has to be enough. What once? So why you know, show me. I want to know. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Yes. I'm currently on chapter three and I just want to say I vibe with Miss Rose Calloway. I vibe. She walked in there like a bad bitch, said what she needed to say and left like a bad bitch. You know what? Yes. I don't really know where this is gonna go actually now that I think about it. Because they're already fake dating, have already been fake dating for three years, already have the forced proximity because they live together. And they're both addicted to different things. I'm not really sure like what the story is gonna be. Maybe I should read the bag? No. <laughs> no, never that. But I will say I'm already loving this and I think I'm gonna become way too obsessed and then I'm gonna crash and burn when it's over. I feel extremely empty and want nothing to do with anything else in life ever again. <laughs> Love that for me, proceeding. I'm kidding, I'm not proceeding. I'm gonna stop to go get ice cream really quick. Kristen Becca Ritchie? <laughs> Yes, you know what you were doing. You know what you were doing. I um went to go get ice cream. I did in fact get a mint chip sundae. It was delicious, thank you for asking. I am now ready to proceed. Why does the fact that her dad created a soda company make me laugh so hard? <laughs> That's not funny, but for some reason I found it hilarious. <laughs> like, uh... <laughs> it's cause usually, <laughs> When you see in books usually people being rich, it's usually their parents are like some big CEO of like an oil company or like, you know, they're a fucking plastic surgeon. I don't know, something like that. But they, they created Fizz. Is it called Fizz? Fizzy? Fizzle. Fizzle. <laughs> don't Hulk smash the apartment. <laughs> I'm loving the Marvel references. Love it. My favorite Avengers. You guys don't care. You guys don't care. I understand. I'm gonna tell you anyway. It was Iron Man and Captain America. 
But if you watched Endgame, you know how that went for me. So now I've decided on Wanda and Thor and also Bucky. Those are my three favorite Marvel characters at the moment. This doesn't matter. You don't care. You don't care. The way I just noticed that all of them are named after plants. How did that take me so long to notice? Poppy, Daisy, Rose, Lily. All flowers and plants. Oh my god, how did I not notice that? <laughs> oh man. Brain cells, bro. They lack in. But when I lack in brain cells, I make up for it in humor. Right? Or or wrong. I'm about 50 pages in. Really enjoying it, y'all. Really enjoying it. I've heard people say that the first two books are slow. I don't really see that. I'm really enjoying this story. Like, yeah, not much has happened, really, but I'm enjoying the story nonetheless, and I'm enjoying these characters. I feel like this is very character-based. I'm gonna make coffee soon. What do we think about that? I think it's a great idea. Thank you so much for being on board. I'm gonna make coffee. I'll talk to you while I'm making coffee. Hold on. So, I am on chapter five. Let me just say, I love it so far. I love Lily and Lily. Besties, I literally talked for 30 minutes in the kitchen while making that coffee. I'm, I'm not putting that in there. It went kind of like this. I am making coffee and it is in fact 9 p.m. <laughs> I don't care. I sent her back to her boyfriend. Oh my, remember her ass cheek. Let's try it. Amazing, amazing. I am a coffee connoisseur. I am amazing, I am astonishing, and my powers are beyond other people's capabilities. No, y'all, this can't be real. This can't be real. She's in her class right now with Lo, and she just accidentally pressed something on her computer and the porn started playing. No. No, I'm like having, you know when you have like secondhand embarrassment? No! No, 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 no! Take it away, take it away! That did not just happen. I don't embarrass easily, keep in mind, but this would embarrass the hell out of me. <laughs> so, I literally love how they're each other's safe space. Literally ride or die. And it reminds me of the, the Grace song. Play it, hold on. I was only just a Picking up the vibes, picking up what I'm putting down. That's all I wanted to say. Oh my god, that is so bright. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Um, someone riddle me this. Why am I mad at Lo for hooking up with this Cassie girl and like letting her stay the weekend and they're cooking breakfast together and all this shit? Why am I? Why am I mad at that? Like, bleh, I don't like that. I don't understand why I'm mad, considering they aren't together. That's first of all, and the most important. And second of all, Lily clearly is hooking up with other people. Why am I, like, why am I mad? Why am I mad? Why am I angry? I don't know. Do better. I'm gonna need your blonde girl next door to skedaddle next door. I'm angry. I know I have no reason to be angry and no right. However, I can't control my feelings and this is how I feel. I'm on chapter eight, by the way. Wait, y'all. I just got to the story of how they actually slept together for the first time when they were teens and it was so sad, Lo and his dad. Why do dads in these books just always have to be pieces of shit? Like what the fuck? I guess because most dads are pieces of shit anyway, right? I did love right here when he goes after her because she was upset about Cassie and she left the apartment and he goes after her and he says, you're a permanent fixture in my life, you're not going anywhere. My heartstrings have been tugged. I'm really enjoying this. I just finished chapter 10 and let me say, I think it was my favorite chapter. I think that this chapter is when I truly realized that they are just two people hitting rock bottom together. They are kind of like two broken pieces becoming whole together and finding solace in each other and depending on each other and just their best friends on top of everything. But also they have these two big issues that they have to work through. I, I love this story. I love this story so much. It's such an important story and it's being told so correctly. I, I love it. What I love the most in this chapter is you see Lily really go downhill for like two weeks. She doesn't even remember her entire two weeks. And then she wakes up with two guys in her bed and like Lo kicks them out. And then he just explains to her that she's fucking scaring him. And I liked to see that they don't let each other, like obviously they're very aware 
of their addictions, but they don't let each other hit that place. They keep each other somewhat stable in this very unstable environment. And I loved what he said to her. He's like, I know I can be a royal asshole, but I love you. You're my best friend and the only person I've ever told about my problem. It doesn't matter if we're in a fucking fake relationship, we're supposed to talk to each other. Come to me before you go off the deep end, okay? And then she asked about Cassie because that's what led her to do all of this because she was so upset that things were changing between them and so scared that he was with somebody else. And then he says, there's this girl who ran out of my apartment. She looked like a bat out of hell. She barely combed her hair, not unusual for her, but she seemed pissed. And the only difference in our relationship had been this new blonde girl on a bar stool. So I dumped her, figured it may have solved a problem or two. And like the littlest, tiniest thing is the fact that he says this new blonde girl on a bar stool and earlier in another chapter when Lily saw Cassie, one of the things she said was, there's this like blonde girl in my bar stool. And the fact that he used those exact words just showed how in sync they truly are and how they understand each other. I, I really love them. Y'all were right, y'all were right. When you're right, you're right. This series is amazing and I've only read literally not even the end of the first book, but I just know, I just know. I already feel the obsession coming. Okay, besties, so I'm on chapter 11 and I'm gonna go make ramen and shower and go to bed. But I'll update you guys tomorrow on where I'm at and then we'll read some more. Anyways, I love you. I hope you have a great night. Well, you're not having a great night because you're not going to bed. I am. Okay, I hope I have a great night. And then I hope that when you go to bed tonight, you also have a great night. So that's, just, yeah, I love you. Okay, BRB. Good morning, besties. It is currently uh, 10 a.m. I woke up today with a huge migraine. So I decided to go get myself some coffee and a bagel. I have an hour till my gym class. So I figured I would start reading some more while I eat my bagel and my coffee until the gym starts. What did I last tell you guys what the chapter I was on? I think I was on chapter 11 when I last talked to you, right? Well, I read chapter 11 and 12. I'm on chapter 13 now. And here are my thoughts. Page 100, right? When Daisy comes to stay with them at their apartment so they have to sleep in his room um, because it's theirs, you know? And then their kiss in page 100 just about killed. Like, I feel like they use this excuse of the fake dating so that they can add, and then, hold on, what am I trying to say? It's too early. I feel like they use this excuse of we're fake dating and when they are like pretending, that's when they go the hardest of like, let's kiss and let's be all touchy and stuff because it's when they can and use fake dating as an excuse. Does that make sense? Oh, wow, my headache feels almost better already. Once you step through that threshold, you entered my place. Everything in here belongs to me. And it kind of felt like he was saying like, you're in here, therefore you belong to me. And I loved that. This part right here where she said, he's just teasing me, that's it. He doesn't like me like that. He couldn't want someone like me. That broke me. She thinks that nobody could want her because of her addiction. She thinks that her addiction makes her this horrible person. It makes her a slut and it makes her like unwantable. Unwantable? That's not a fucking word, is it? But then what I love about this story is you have these two people that are hitting rock bottom, these two people that feel so broken and feel like they cannot be fixed and can't be loved and they find love in each other. I love that so much. My heart breaks for them. They deserve the entire world and I really, really want them to be so happy and to get the help that they need. That's what I mean by this is like very character based. Like I'm so connected with these characters. It's like hard to like find the jokes within this because the story's so serious, but at the same time they make it like, they make it serious, but not to the point where you are traumatized. And then essentially now they have to go on this cruise, I think it is, um, a yacht. They're going on a yacht for her dad's birthday and they all have to go. Let me show you one song real quick that reminds me of them. As you can see, um, I connect everything to music. Doesn't that remind you of them of like, I found peace in your violence? Yo, oh my God. There's someone walking towards me and they see me just filming in the car. This always happens to me. Should I wave? No, I'm not gonna wave. Should I? No, I'm not going to. Okay. Oh, I did. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> anyway, Lo just said, y'all, they're at the yacht doing their thing, vibing. Some server came, Lily thought he was hot, whatever. He's just taking orders and Lo said, you. And the guy says, what would you like? And Lo says, stop staring at my fucking girlfriend. That'd be great, thanks. <laughs>
<laughs> the way I would die for this man, yes. How are there 10 books in this series? What's gonna happen that requires 10 books? I'm very concerned. If nobody gets a happy ending, I'm quitting. I'm quitting life, I'm checking out. There can be trouble along the way, but I require happy endings for the people I love. Oh shit, the way this just took a turn. I was so excited about him telling the server, stop fucking staring at my girlfriend that I didn't even pay attention to the server saying, you want a bourbon and fizz? And he's like, no, just regular fizz. And he's like, but you've been drinking bourbon all day, Mr. Hale. Are you sure you don't want another one? First of all, how dare you? How dare you? The unprofessionalism. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. No, no, no. I don't vibe with this at all. Throw him overboard. Throw him overboard. This chapter ended badly. Well, not badly, but essentially, O says, if you have sex with that fucking asshole, I'm done. Because we're supposed to be together. You're supposed to be my girlfriend. I'll be at the pool. And just leaves. Here's the thing. Thing. I'm trying to understand what does he want right what what do either of them want really what's happening <laughs> they want to be together but it's just they never actually talk about that important you know elephant in the room they talk about everything else their friendship is so it, gro it goes so deep but yet they don't talk about this what the fuck I've seen a couple people say like I've seen TikTok comments of a couple of people say that Lily is selfish I don't see that here at all I understand what they mean if they're talking about like how she expects him to not be with anybody, but then she's with people. I feel like what those commenters fail to realize is that's what her addiction is. You know what I mean? Like his addiction happens to be drinking and you see him drinking in this entire freaking book right now. Her addiction happens to be a sex addiction. It's the same idea as his where like she can't go on without sex, just like he can't go on without drinking, except hers happens to include other people and his is a solo activity. I see them both hitting rock bottom together, but I don't see it in a selfish way. I see them really prioritize each other, to be honest with you. Okay, y'all, I only read up to chapter 14. I only read one chapter because um, I did, in fact, get distracted. Anyway, I'm drinking my Celsius now, Fuji Apple. Where's my my bookmark, though? Hello, bookmark. Wow, sis is nowhere to be found. That's us. Spiders? Why did it have to be spiders? Why couldn't it have been butterflies? <laughs> Ron, no! He's going to sacrifice himself. <laughs> no, you can't! There must be another way! Not me, not Hermione, you. Besties, hello. I don't remember what I said to you last. Not me, not Hermione, you. Yesterday, I feel like, is the last time I talked to you because I was at the gym. Yeah, that was yesterday. Okay, well, I'm on chapter 14. I'm planning on finishing this right now. I'm currently on page 128, so let's do this. That's the one thing that I'm upset about in this book, I will say. I wish it was dual POV. I really want to know what Lowe's thinking. Like, I want to know what's going on in his mind through all of this, but I don't get to see that, so <laughs> that's upsetting. Hopefully, he'll have a book and, like, maybe I'll get his POV or something. I don't know, because I need it. Yes, Rose. Yes, say a lot for the people in the back, y'all. Look at Rose. If you don't love yourself, Lily, how can anyone love you back? And you don't need a guy to fulfill you. I wish you'd remember that. Yes. Rose is such a queen. I can't wait to learn more about Rose, honestly. She intrigues me so much. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wait. <gasps> ah! Wait, wait, wait. Page 132 and 133. Oh my. Listen, listen to this. He goes, have you ever thought about us together? And then she says, yes. And he says, if I could be enough to fill you, would you let me? And she says, yes. Are you ready for what he says next? Then let me try. Let me try to be enough for you. She says, that's a big undertaking. And he goes, I'm big enough to take it. Ah! Oh my God, I have died and went to heaven. That's a big undertaking. I'm big enough to take it. I'm unwell. Ah! Here's the issue, I think. I think that they don't have a support system because they only rely on each other and they have kept this hidden for so long just with each other. That imagine keeping your whole life a secret, you know what I mean? Like it became more than just the addiction now. Like them battling addiction is already hard enough, but now they also have to battle this secret and they have to keep their whole lives a lie, like pretending to have these friends that they don't have, pretending to have this relationship they don't have, pretending that they don't have these problems when they do have it and then they can't even talk to their family or have any friends or anything like that because they don't want people finding out so then the addiction isn't even just the only problem anymore it's just this big lie that's also an issue i feel like the only way they'll be able to get better with each other and with themselves is if they you know go to rehab go to therapy tell their families or at least someone tell a friend tell one family member whatever do something that can help you move this along because you need a support system you know what i mean they are enabling each other's addictions but at the same time they are trying so hard to not let the other person hit rock bottom and at least they have each other that's how i see it as i guess even though 
it is toxic currently. Ah, look at him. I'm not one of your conquests. I know what you want and you don't need to take it. I can give it to you. Oh my God. That boy is a real pussy pleaser. Chapter 14, loved everything about it. Okay, wait, so now he's actually admitting what he was thinking this entire time. I've never pretended, Lil. We've been together, even if you thought it was some fucking lie. Then she says you've been waiting around for six years. <laughs> My heart. He's holding up his bottle and he says, I want to love you more than this. <laughs> Cause I can love you more than this. Yeah! One Direction said it best, y'all. I love this quote right here. Three years later and drowning in lies, we're suddenly prepared to lose everything for the chance at something real. I'm gonna die. Yes! We're terrible at so many things. Remembering important dates, college, making friends, but the one thing we've always been halfway decent at is being together. Oh my god, this couple owns me. They own me, fully. He's so right here. He says, your problem is now my problem. In fact, it's always been my problem. This is true. Like they, their addictions have always been a problem, not only for themselves, but for each other as well. I'm them going to this restaurant and ordering a $4,000 bottle of wine or champagne. Is it champagne? Wine? Whatever. $4,000. It's worth more than anything I own. $4,000 for one bottle. <laughs> I forget that they're rich. I forget that they're billionaires. <laughs> oh, so Rose. Oh yeah, Rose. So Rose has a, a a clothing line. I forgot about that. Callaway Couture. Oh, I like that. Okay. Okay, Miss Kardashian. I see you. I'm so excited to get to see like what Rose is all about. Not him knowing her taco order. Yeah, it's so simple, but I love that. It's the little things. I don't believe you, Lauren Hale. Use my full name, Lily Callaway. Its authority is lost on me. <laughs> oh, he says, I love all of you. Siri, play Jake Gyllenhaal. No, Jake Gyllenhaal. John Mayer? No, I'm just going through Taylor Swift's boyfriends at this point. I'm such a Swifty, I can't even remember the name of this freaking thing. Cause all of me loves John Legend. John Legend. All of me loves all of you. Oh my God, they went to Comic Con. Love that for them. Oh, oh, chapter 18. I spot someone that's gonna be important. I know this, Connor Cobalt. One of the only names I knew from this series was his. I've seen it. I've seen it everywhere. So I think people really like him. Ew, his first name is Richard. <laughs> I like Connor better. Oh wow, he's her tutor. Is this how he comes into the story? Unexpected, unexpected. Connor Cobalt. Connor Cobalt. Connor Cobalt. Oh, he knows Rose. <gasps> Says Lily Calloway and he goes, you wouldn't happen to be related to Rose Calloway. Ah! So are they gonna be, she's on the academic bowl for Princeton, right? We compete against each other all the time. She's wicked smart. Oh, okay. And Lily says she's a tough teacher. And he goes, is that so? Ah! <laughs> okay, I feel it. I feel the vibes. I feel the vibes. Say less. You don't gotta tell me twice. It's gonna be Connor and Rose. Nice, nice. I could see that. I'm not most people. I make an effort to know names, especially ones that matter. Okay, that's aggressive. It's giving me very much a narcissistic vibes. God, Rose would scratch out his eyes if she heard him. There's gonna be scratching, but not no eyes. <laughs> Bad joke. I'm Connor helping her look for low all night at this party. So I guess they're gonna be uh, besties. I really didn't think that that's how they would put Connor in the story. For some reason, I was thinking that I wasn't gonna meet the whole crew until I got like to later books. I don't know why. Look at Connor. I like someone who can intellectually spar with me. <laughs> Rose Calloway, table for one. Oh, me. Who is he? Fizzle and Hale Co. You both still haven't realized who I am, and I have a good feeling you wouldn't give a shit if you knew. Who is he? Tell me. Oh, okay. Richard Connor Cobalt is the son of a multi-million dollar corporation that owns smaller companies involving paints, inks, and magnets. Sure. I trust you. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, but I trust you. Sure. <laughs> You're not ditching me for Richard. <laughs> now you're calling him Richard. Please don't ever say that again. <laughs> Every time someone says Richard, it just reminds me of the grandpa from Gilmore Girls. It's the only thing I picture is Richard Gilmore. So I'm gonna need them to not use his name like that. I would like to think of him as Connor Cobalt. I don't like Cobalt or Cobalt. Connor Cobalt. Yeah, that sounds right. Hey, your sister's calling me. <laughs> I'm upset that we don't get to see this phone call. Oh, bruh. If I get to their book and they don't go back and tell me everything I've missed thus far, I'm gonna be so mad. I wanna know everything. I want them to go back and show me because right now I'm only seeing Lily's POV. So I can't see that. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it. Just saying. I don't need it now, but I'm gonna need it later. We just arrived at chapter 21, y'all. I'm gonna stop for a second because um, I'm gonna go to the mall. <laughs> 
I realize, I realize that that doesn't sound like something that's important, but it is. But I'm on chapter 21. I read a decent amount. I'll probably be back in the car to read more later. As you can see, y'all, I just love my car. Hello, besties. I'm back from the mall. I got myself another coffee. Did I need one? No. Did I get one anyway? Yes. This channel it's just about us having no self-control whatsoever all of us are just on this boat together and we're just all sinking and we're just letting each other sink we're having a fantastic time while doing it so that's all that matters you know what i mean one chapter 21 y'all i like connor i like connor's relationship with them like he's he, they just <laughs> they just showed up in a limo they're like do you just take your limo everywhere? And Connor's like, don't you? And Lo's like, oh yeah, we just take limo rides around Walmart's parking lot just to show regular people what money looks like. Don't we, dear? <laughs> He's our first real friend. Oh, true. Connor's their first real friend. I love that. I love that for them. <laughs> Wait, when they were little, they spiked the soda recipe. Like the soda that goes to all the people. They spiked it with alcohol. That is so responsible. A child could have drank that. Me. Connor invited Rose. And Lo says, you did not invite the ice queen here. <laughs> the ice queen. <laughs> he said, Elsa. Oh my God, were they flirting with each other over the phone? Rose and Connor, they said, kiss me through the phone. I want to see that phone conversation. If I don't get to see that phone conversation, I'm going to be so mad. I love this quote. Sometimes I think we're both forever stuck on a turntable. The way that's so deep and yet so simple. Like a turntable, it just always keeps spinning round and round and keeps going in the same the same way. And that's what they are, forever stuck on a turntable because they simply can't get off and they enable each other's addiction and it's just a circle forever. Circle of life. <laughs> I literally needed to do that. That needed to be done. Sorry. Oh my god. Listen. Listen. Page 199. He's basically telling her that if she ever feels the need to go be with somebody else, just repeat this phrase. Lauren Hale fucks better. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Listen. Listen. Mr. Lauren Hale, how do you like your eggs in the morning? I like mine fertilized. <laughs> ah, I love him. Lauren Hale fucks better. I'm gonna get that tattooed on me. What do we think about that? I already have like 12 different tattoos, but I have specific book ones I want to get to some of my favorite books. They're all very meaningful and very beautiful. What are we thinking if I just get Lauren Hale fucks better? Like on my foot or something. <laughs> Me. He just got caught stealing the liquor from this guy's house, y'all. This is not good. I said, who the hell are you and what bastard invited you here? And Connor says, that bastard would be me. Oh, there's something about men in power that's so attractive. Nine nah, ain't saying she a gold digger. <laughs> 40 grand is nothing. Bitch, I don't relate to you. $40 is a lot. 40 grand, $4 is a lot. That's a whole coffee. I don't know how much coffee 40 grand could get me. Oh, I like this Reich guy. There's not really a specific reason other than the fact that he is dressed as Green Arrow. And I love Green Arrow. And especially right here, he said, I've just seen Smallville on television. I love Smallville. Oliver Queen in Smallville, y'all. Justin Hartley, who played him? obsessed you know what let's be honest oliver queen from the actual show arrow oliver queen in general is just iconic in smallville amazing amazing wait what what happened get in the car Reich urges oh no is he bad is he robbing them i'm confusion what is going on i'm very confuzzled oh he made up the fight to help them oh that's nice it's like weirdly nice though does he know any of them i'm confused you think i could stand around and watch matt drunkenly grab a girl lots of people would yeah then people fucking suck oh is he just a good guy no he seems too nice right now low concern this is reich meadows captain of the track team oh he's a runner he's a track star <laughs> wait page 217 reich basically helped them get out of that fight and carried Lo upstairs to the hotel and now he's like yelling at lily for not taking care of him i'm so confused wait was i way off about him the way i thought he was so nice in the beginning i'm confused him being con so concerned like this for Lo is weird right if you think Lo was in serious trouble i don't think you'd do a thing about it yes she would she's also battling her whole addictions fuck off that that's the thing that where people say like you never know what somebody's going through you know what i mean like a lot of people just see surface level things and then they just jump to conclusions but you don't know what that person's dealing with and look at right here chapter 23 the very beginning she says isn't this the part where our love overcomes our addictions no one told me that you can love someone and still be miserable how is that possible and yet the thought of walking away from lauren hale collapses my lungs oh you know that song if we go down then we go down together I forget. What's that song called? 
I don't remember. She goes, you said this isn't about Lowe's problem, right? And Wright goes, you mean his alcohol addiction? Oh my God. I'm confused. He really wants to help. He's like wanting to help Lowe, but why? What is the motive behind this? I don't trust it. I don't trust it. So his father is an alcoholic, so he wants to help Lowe? Okay, that makes a little more sense. I'm like so sad over all of this. <laughs> Page 241, them trying to explain to him the comic books. <laughs> Earth 616 is the Marvel Universe. Facts, it really is. Reich messages Lily and he goes, is he drinking right now? And she says beer and he goes, I'm coming over. Okay, okay, sure. Let yourself in, guy, come over. So now Connor came into their house unannounced. Reich is coming over. He, at least he announced it, but he didn't ask. He's just coming. And Rose just showed up. I see the friend group forming, y'all. Unless Reich turns out to be super bad. Ugh, I don't know. Rose goes, so you read the newspaper, Connor. Congratulations, a well-informed citizen of Pennsylvania. Let's throw confetti and have a parade. And he goes, or you could go out with me tonight. <laughs> okay, how do you like your eggs cooked? <laughs> As I said before, I like mine fertilized. <laughs> really need to get those ears checked, Miss Calloway. <laughs> Connor! Connor, pick me up at seven. Don't be late. I never am. We have a Rose and Connor date, y'all. And once again, I'm not going to get to fucking see it. Look, my chest caves. We should talk. But what do I say? Lo, I wish you would stop drinking. And he'd say, Lily, I wish you'd stop having so much sex. And then we'd look at each other and wait for the other to say, okay, I'll change for you. This hurts. This is painful. I wasn't ready for this much pain when I opened this book. No, look. And I suppose the fear of losing each other is always stronger than the pain we cause. You know, I was once told, never let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game. You know who told me that? Sam from a Cinderella story. Because waiting for you is like waiting for rain in the middle of a drought. Useless and disappointing. <laughs> you know, have you watched the Cinderella story? You should. Look at Connor. I want to see Rose before the show starts. She sounded nervous this morning. Bro, I need to see this relationship. If you guys don't go back and show me this relationship in full length, I'm going to be so upset. Wow, these quotes are breaking me. No. She missed Rose's fashion show. No. What else could go wrong in this book, honestly? What else? This book is just a bunch of painful shit put together. Like, it pisses me off that she can't tell them. But she feels like her addiction is like something that nobody will understand because it's a sex addiction. It's not talked about. You know what I mean? That makes me so sad. Oh, page 283. When you feel up to it, I think you should work for your sister. She's looking to hire an assistant at Callaway Couture. And I know she'd love for you to be involved. Rose and Connor give me very much Blair and Chuck vibes from Gossip Girl. Okay. Okay. Okay, this right, dude. We need to talk. Page 284 and page 285. He's sitting here asking so many questions about Lowe's dad. I'm thinking, this is a big assumption here. I feel like Jonathan Hill's his dad. The way he's asking, this is not the first time he's asked about Jonathan Hill. He's tried to ask before and Lowe was just kind of ignoring him. He was like, do you have a good relationship with your father? Are your parents divorced? And now he's like, what's he like? D uh, do you guys talk? So I'm thinking maybe Jonathan Hill's his dad and like they don't have the same mom, but maybe they have the same dad. And that's why he's so concerned for Lowe because it's his brother. That makes sense, right? Especially because he said that his dad was an alcoholic and Jonathan Hill's an alcoholic. I don't know. Don't quote me on it but I think so. See, like, look at this. On page 291, Reich is talking to Lo, and he's like, I'm sorry. I'm so fucking sorry, Lo. I'm here for you now. He can't just be that good of a person. Like, yeah, he seems like a great person. Don't get me wrong. He seems awesome, but there has to be something more, especially him saying right here, I'm here for you now. What do you mean? Like you weren't there for him before. Has to be a brother. Has to be a brother. I'm locking it down. Quote me on it. I know I said don't quote me on it like a couple a couple of minutes ago, but now quote me on it. Oh, I'm so frustrated. This cannot get any worse. I'm so frustrated. I'm so sad for Lily. And now I'm pissed because I've seen people call Lily selfish. I'm pissed at that. I'm pissed. How dare you? With this disease, they're struggling. You know what I mean? Everyone that is struggling seems selfish because you're trying so hard to keep yourself together that you can't be there for other people because you can barely be there for yourself. Ugh! People calling her selfish just pisses me off now. I will argue till the death about that. I'm so sad for her. Wait, what? No. No, no! No, are you joking? Are you joking? Are you joking? No, 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 no. She's saying no, no over and over again. She's saying stop and he's not... She does not need, I'm so upset. I need coffee. Yes, Reich. Reich walked in. Get the fuck off of her. Yes. Oh, Connor walked in too. Yes. Okay, they've got Lo and Lily. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Chapter 29. Things are getting, things are getting heavy, y'all. Things are heating up. I feel like this whole book has boiled down to this moment. No. Oh no, their big lie is coming undone. 
I'm happy about it though. I'm happy. I feel like she should know. Oh my god, she's telling her everything. Three years ago, Lo and I made a deal to pretend to be in a relationship. We wanted everyone to believe we're good people, but we're not. Yes, you are. Why do they think that? She's telling Rose everything, y'all. And she goes, I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. You cannot get rid of me, Lily. Nothing you do or say will make me leave. I love you. You're my sister. That'll never change. I'm gonna cry. These last few chapters are so good. I only have three more chapters. Settle in, y'all. Settle in. I forgot that Lo is gonna wake up and have to hear what happened. He goes, ask me. She says, what? He goes, ask me why I drink. He goes, why? And he goes, because I can. Because whenever I drank, I didn't think I was hurting anyone but me. That is until last night or maybe for the past two months or forever. I don't know anymore. I knew it. I knew that they were both thinking they weren't hurting anybody but themselves. But they were. They were hurting each other. Oh my god, I'm so sad. I should have been there. I should have held you in my arms and told you that everything is going to be okay even if it wasn't. That was my job. No one else's. Oh wow, he just said, I'm an alcoholic. That's the first time he's ever said that. I love you, but I want to love you enough that I never choose alcohol over you. Not even for a moment. I want to be someone you deserve, who helps you rather than enables you. And I can't begin to do that until I get help for myself. And he's holding her and telling her to breathe. I'm going to detox here. I'm staying here. I'm giving this a shot. And if it doesn't work, then I'll go. But if I can be here for you and me, then I have to try. It's not going to work. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to ruin this beautiful moment, but it's not going to work. She needs to go to rehab and she needs to go to therapy. That's how I want this book to end. Because I want, like, I want them to really get help. Like, yes, it's a fight for life, but I want them to have all the resources there to help them. Look at her. I can't think about helping low detox and doing the same for myself. So I'm going to focus on him. And then when he gets better, I'll worry about me. That seems right. How can you call her selfish? How? Oh, Lo's been sober for a full week. I'm so proud of him. They're at this diner. Rose, Connor, Reich, uh, Lo, and Lily. And Rose is wearing a diamond necklace shaped like a water droplet. Connor goes, I bought it for her. And she goes, why? And he goes, no reason. I saw it and I thought she'd like it. I'm crying. <laughs> when you're a billionaire, that must be easy. I'd be like, yo, I was at McDonald's. I thought of you, so I got you some chicken nuggets and a large Sprite. That's about all I can do though. Wow, Reich is really a ride or die. I feel like Reich and Connor are really good influences on Lo, and I feel like Rose would be a really good influence on Lily. Like, I feel like they need these people. Look at Reich's conversation with Lily, y'all. If you would have told me from the start what kind of deal you two struck and what kind of lives you lived, I wouldn't have been so upset with you when you stopped helping Lo. I apologize for that, as you should. Jesus, look at this. She goes, I'll try, and he, and he, he just doesn't say anything. She goes, you don't believe me, do you? And he says, no, but the admission is nice to hear. She goes, I can fight. And he gets, he says, I guess we'll see how hard. And Lily, I sincerely hope you fucking surprise me. Jesus, why does Reg like have something against her? Relax, dude. God, this is hard on her. He has to be his brother. He has to be. That's the only reason why he'd be so invested in Lo right now. Just like, because he's acting towards Lo how Rose is acting towards Lily. <gasps> there, page 321. She's, she's watching them. She's watching Reg and Lo run. And she goes, they look alike. They could be brothers oh no they just slept in this hotel room and now lo is drinking again and she's having sex again and i his lips find mine again and he kisses me as he rocks slowly as though telling me everything is all right everything is okay he's here i'm here that's all we need it's our greatest lie because they've been lying this whole time but like the greatest lie is that they're gonna be okay because they know they're not oh my god he's like screaming at his dad that he needs help and his dad's just not listening i'm y'all I'm unwell. I am unwell. Ha! The dad says, what are you doing here? Talking to Reich. And Lo goes, you two know each other? Oh, yes. I knew it. I knew it. Sarah Hale is your mother, but she's not mine, is she? Oh, shit. Reich came before Lo is what's really shocking me. I thought that uh, uh, the dad was going to have Reich with some other woman, but no, it was completely the opposite. Oh, shit. But I knew it. I knew it. Ha <laughs> ha intuition that's why he was so mad about at the bar when lo kept saying like fuck sarah my mom like fuck sarah hale he was so mad because it's his mom oh that makes so much sense oh my god slowly drops to his knees and puts a palm on the carpet where's lily lily he's searching for her rose finally lets me go and i run into lo's arms he holds me tightly and cries into my shoulder his body heaving i'm here i breathe it's okay i feel like i'm dying you're not i love you she says, you're going to rehab. And he says, I can't leave you. It could be months, Lily. I don't want it. I don't want you with another guy. He goes, I'm going to be strong. I'm going to therapy. I'm going to move in with Rose. I'm going to transfer to Princeton. And I'll be waiting for you when you return. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god. They kicked me out. They kicked him out of the... Of Penn? Oh god. I'm not going back to college. Oh shit. 
Chapter 33, y'all. The last chapter. I can do this. I can do this without crying. I know I can. I'm Lo giving up all his father's money. I feel like Rose now is really appreciating Lo more. Like she's understanding him because, you know, they didn't like each other at first. Beneath my fear, I am so, so proud. We're so connected that I feel the hurt from the deception as if it was my own. My God. I'm not going to make it through this whole chapter. In the end, it was not a boy who helped me. It was my sister. Y'all. God, th this sentence right here is so simple yet so heartbreaking because it's like Christmas Eve. She says, the city stays in a celebratory mood while my heart clenches with each beat. Oh my God. She goes, what are we saying? Goodbye. And he's like, no, this isn't goodbye, Lil. I'll see you soon. I'll always be yours. No distance or time apart. We'll change that, Lily. You need to believe that. Oh my God. Another person just passed my car. <laughs> Don't worry about me, you guys. I'm fine. I'm just crying over fictional people. I need to worry. Wait for me. Oh my god, wait for me. I need you to wait for me. He knew the only way for me to truly fight is for is if I have something to lose. Says to Rose, take care of her. And Rose says, take care of yourself. <laughs> I open my mouth, waiting to express all my feelings at once. I love you. I'll wait for you. You're my best friend and my soulmate, my lover. I'm so proud of you. Please come back to me. His lips upturn in a hopeful smile. I know. Even though she didn't say anything. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I need coffee. <laughs> they went through so much already. And I know there are so many more books. There's nine more books. I don't want them to go through anything else. This was amazing, and I, I don't even know how I'm supposed to talk about it now because I'm still crying. I'm going to look at the last page again. I'll always be yours. No distance or time apart will change that, Lily. You need to believe that. Wait for me. I need you to wait for me. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! How am I going to survive nine more books? I'm not. I'm just not. I'm not built for this. I I told you guys, I warned you, I was I'm a very emotional reader. I'm in fact a very emotional person. And yes, my zodiac sign is a cancer. I saw some of you ask that. But here's the thing, I don't want to give cancers a bad rep, okay? Yes, I happen to be very emotional. I do. Um, but that's just who I am as a person. Mind your business, guy. And I'm a July Cancer, too, which is usually the ones they say that aren't emotional at all, that are, like, bad bitches. What happened to me? I was built wrong. Five stars. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I really don't. Um, It was amazing. It was amazing. I loved every single second of this book. Instantly, I knew I was going to become, dare I say it, addicted. Um, I tabbed it a lot. As you guys can see, the way this series has me in a chokehold already, and it's only book one. I'm so scared. <laughs> you know that sound, the one that goes, I think this is affecting me mentally. Like long term shit, it's gonna fuck me up. That's how I feel. Like I see myself getting completely wrecked. And it's like, I'm not doing anything about it. I'm just going. I'm just doing it. Lily and Lo have my entire heart. I'm so so obsessed with this couple. I am so invested in them. They need a happy ending. They need it. I'm already invested in Reich. I'm already invested in Rose. I'm already invested in Connor. Ricochet is the next book. So I will be vlogging book number two. No worries. And that's it. Goodbye besties. I love you. I can't live. Okay, y'all, I'm done.